Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Here I am, back in Eugene. I'm by the river. I'm about to meet somebody in about a half an hour. Let me turn the camera around so you can... Anyways, I'm going to post this video. Uh, it's just a little commentary. And, um... About how people... How we humans are conveniently ignoring or we're not ignoring it like this is the thing we don't ignore it many people are freaked out about it i mean a lot of people don't know and then when they do know they're flabbergasted and then they get active for about five or six years like i did and then they give up and i mean it's not just the nuclear industry it's like petrochemical fossil fuel like it's overwhelming um the industrial capitalists like have literally shit on our earth and we're swimming in it and it's a chemical and nuclear pile of it but you know we have to we will i mean hope i'm kind of an optimist i'm hoping that 1500 3000 humans will survive in 100 years and then maybe we could scratch our way back i mean this is what happens with collapsed civilizations i mean this is the thing i think that our the people who did these things don't realize how quickly it's all going to collapse. They don't believe it. It's beyond their comprehension. Like the people in nuclear, when you talk to them. And actually, to be honest, the health physicist from Missouri convinced me, and he's correct, that really other chemicals and other contaminants are killing people faster than nuclear contamination can. My objection to nuclear contamination is that it messes up your DNA and ability to reproduce in, you know, 50 years, 60 years, 100 years. And if we're having the environment collapse because of the chemical pollution, I mean, we're going to be growing Godzillas coming out of the rivers. That's kind of what's going to happen. I mean, Godzilla was written after World War II for a reason because of the nuclear bombs and the nuclear bomb testing that was going on during it. So, I, you know, like, how do we unite to create a large enough force to stop the people who believe that it's okay to kill humanity in exchange for discovering incredible technologies in which only a few thousand people survive and they're going to be the ones that survive and screw the rest of us and screw this planet we'll just call it the trash planet we give up on every tree every bird every plant everything we've ever known and then it becomes something else in a hundred thousand years we might get some versions of what we had left i mean hasn't humanity already done that i think we've discovered that thought I mean, they did find what they think were nuclear power facilities in Antarctica and Africa buried under the ground and under the ice. So I, I don't know, but you know, to the youth, like to people like Kevin Finnegan, I don't blame him for being super pissed off but guess what? We're just as, it's my generation too. We were the first generation nuked. I mean, I was born in 55, I guess it was the, first real generation because I started when in 42 or something like that really seriously taking it seriously experiment on humans and then they discovered they messed it up because you can't take it out of the environment at all so then they just keep making it so they can have nuclear weapons and if they have known since then they need to leave the planet what do you think space force is about it's really it's devious <laughs> Uh, thank God I believe in the angels and I believe in God and I don't think any of that's going to happen. I don't think they're going to let any of the humans go out into outer space on a serious level. I don't think that's going to happen at all. And I think we'll kill ourselves, you know, extinct ourselves before that would happen. But hopefully we don't extinct ourselves and those people just fail and we can thrive as a species again. I mean... We're having that catastrophic earthquake. What do you think that's about? It's the in collapsing. It's not, it, this isn't like, what do they call it? Climate change? Fuck, 
that. This is climate collapse, you guys. It is not climate change. The people who are causing the pollution started calling it climate change. And so the Democrats, to be nice to them, started going, okay, we'll call it climate change because it does change the climate. No, it's climate collapse. And that earthquake that happened, the severe th storms that we're having, the severe winter, harsh winter, we're going to have a really heavy summer too. It's going to be hotter than you know what. So, I mean... First thing we need to do is change the language, but I really don't think yelling and screaming and being angry and being disappointed changes any of it. Because guess what? We still have each other. We still love each other. Love is the only thing that matters. Our love can heal all bonds. Like, we can make it through. And that's what we have. That's what humans have. And that's what we can share and give with each other. Love and compassion understanding that was the message of jesus you know that's the message of every quote prophet is these are people that are evolved into like understanding that all we have is love everything else is superficial and now we it's got it's getting really literally deadly serious because we've allowed the planet to be polluted we didn't have the fortitude to stop because the products, like we're involved in a culture where we can't help but buy plastic. You can't help but use, look at this, earplugs. These things go bad. You know how many bad earplugs I have? What happens to those? But ever since I started watching Oceans Namibia, I, I guarantee you, I don't even donate those because I'm afraid they're gonna get into the ocean. I slice them up and donate them because Oceans Namibia rescues seals from fishing gear and animals that get their necks caught off the coast of Namibia. And you know what? That's happening all over the planet. These are just some men that decided a family of people that, I don't know, they're a true family, but they're a real family. You know what I mean? Like it's a team, a crew. Anyways, I guess I made this because of my friends that I made through the Age of Fission radio show, Thomas Ackerman and Kevin Finnegan, and uh, Erica Dugan, who has called me recently. She's suffering even worse than she was before when I interviewed her. It's hideous what this chemical contamination does to human beings. So it's not just nuclear, it's very real. And for governments, you know, she told me some things. She, it's only in the South things like this happen where they sabotage people. If they get, to, you know, if you perk your head up, like it's uh, shocking. I was shocked. She, uh, you know, but I don't know why I'm shocked because this is how they gain control because they just harm people and then people have to like stay busy dealing with the harm they've caused that we can't stop them, organize and you know create a massive shutdown or that's what it's going to take is a system shutdown well you know what we don't have to do it because mother nature is going to do it for us you know for me i mean honestly people have said what would happen if we lost the internet i think we'd be a million times better off if we lost the internet yes no more youtube no more videos no more cable tv like none of that stuff like do we really has it enhanced our lives no you know to be honest, it has not. And it has not enhanced our relationships. Uh, it allows us to communicate and understand the problems. It also allows us to harmonize. That's the good thing. Like, without YouTube, I probably would have, or the internet, I would have never found EFT, you know, tapping, which transformed my life. Anyways, I'm going to end here, you guys. I just want especially to Kevin Finnegan and Tom Ackerman, like stop pissing and moaning over what they call, you know, blah, 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 you know, the, sh the shots, whatever. This is the same old stuff they've been doing for so long. Like what I can't understand is why people object to getting a shot when they don't object to having to breathe nuclear contamination nonstop, drink it in our water. Our water is tritiated well, 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 well over known safety levels. There's chemicals in our water. If you're not showering with a shower filter, you are going to get sick because you are toxating out your body like with those waters every day, taking a bath in it. You need to filter your water, folks, because it's not just nuclear contamination, but 
I wanted us to just, I want us to, like, I personally am focusing on love and being in love with life, despite it all. Because the one thing that they can't take away from us is our attitude. The gratitude attitude is one that we have to have a nonstop, even though the world, you know, like, things are getting difficult. But guess what? It's always been difficult. It's never been easy. We're humans. We're not gods. The birds struggle, the plants struggle, everything struggles. Our job is to be in harmony with that stuff. And over the last probably 300 years, we've been in disharmony. Maybe 600 years since the industrialists started taking over. I don't know. Anyways, you guys. I really do love you, Tom. And I love you, Kevin Finnegan. I, God dang. Patty Amino, I love you too. Erica Dugan, I don't know you enough to love you, but I sure do like you. <laughs> So I am making this video for the few peeps and if any of my old peeps see me, I love you too, man. So thanks for sticking with me on the YouTubes. I don't know how often I'm going to post it. It might be a regular, it might be regular, but I don't know. Like I want us to promote love and to stop feeling negative about our future because it's something's going to happen one way or the other. And I mean, we've got, what, 100 years max on any of us. We have a warranty. Our little brain's worn out after about 100 years. So it's a short-term computer that God built. <laughs> so anyways, talk to you guys later. Ciao. Put your courage feet on. Oh, I know. I'll turn it around to say huh, goodbye. <laughs> okay, you guys. So it's good to see everybody. I'm trying to figure out which way to look, but uh, I'm going to look over there. Maybe that'll look more straight to you. Um, Put your courage feet on. Talk to you later. Bye. How do I stop?